Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing, my second attempt. My name is Saiken, I'm trying to do the world's first uh, attempt to do the uh, exquisite timing on the very highest difficulty. Today um, we're going to go for the Codex Brain Coordinates, second, uh, third last mission actually. We need to get it done right now, it's mid of uh, June. We're running against the time. Uh, our research is phenomenal. We got 10 uh, scientists, so we're doing well on that uh, front, but they need something to do. What they need to do is they need to find out what the codex uh, brain coordinates are about. They need to find out what that um, tasty, tasty uh, gateway is about. And once they have found that out, we can research the avatar and bam, uh, profit. So that's the plan. We're going to fight against the Codex, we're going to fight against the Gatekeeper, and since it's two enemy unknown, I can already say it's Chrysalid time, baby. Chrysalid time, baby. Uh, let's uh, get some of the battle scanners in, uh, because I don't want to deal with Chrysalids. They are just a no fun encounter. Uh, other than that, uh, we are going to uh, take a look at the team, and let me also build up uh, the... Uh, some of uh, the battle scanners, just a sec. All right, here we go. So Zirkim is going to have the battle scanners with him. Pretty much same team as uh, before. Uh, I think uh, that that team is sound. Let me just double check something real quick. Yeah, all right. Uh, finish checking. Quick feet is still injured. We can't uh, use him, but he'll be available. Would be a shame to not use our major a little bit later. Good. Uh, that's the team, guys. Uh, let's jump right into the mission. It's going to be a tasty one. 17 enemies, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of chrysalids. Um, we need to make sure that we're not getting hit. That is number one priority. All right. We just landed. Move to investigate the site. Hostile presence is currently unknown, but expect the worst. Our group is hidden. Good. We got our concealment. We got the nice little high ground up here. We got our little uh, shed up here, a cabin, and we got a nice little ledge. Perfect. Couldn't ask for much better starting position, to be honest. I am at your service. Where is the ladder? It's over there. Might as well move to go. here. There's an alien patrol nearby. Good, so we got an alien patrol down there. A pretty good lay of the land. So, a little valley here that we can work with. Hey, Wired. Um, how about we're moving everyone up to that ledge? I think that's a pretty damn good idea. Shield bearer, wow. Those are tough as nails. I want to be a bit careful with them. Pyro moves over here. And Hogbite also moves uh, up over here. There we go. There are the little suckers. Seem a little smaller than I remember. Then again, it was never really their size we had to worry about. Okay, so they put themselves in the ground there. And there. Right in front of the gate. On top here or next to the gate. And to the gate on the right hand side. Okay, okay, cool. Good. Dozens of them right next to the gate. Comes at uh, no surprise, really. We know that there's one over here. And one over here. Okay. Good. Fair. Um... Uh, 
I guess what I am wondering is remote start. No. We certainly can't get down there because um, the borrowed chrysalids have tremor sense and thus will sniff us out even if we're concealed. Out. We're blocking the ladder so that that heck cannot get up here. And now it's a bit of a catch-22. This is a solid pack. We want to start with a grenade, yes or no. From a perspective of shredding them, it certainly makes sense. Uh, that would shred a lot of armor. The other option is just going for the Advent Shield Bearer first, right? If we were to take that option, could position ourselves. Problem is that we don't want to deal with the chrysalids, really. That's the main issue. So I don't want to go down there at all. 97% is good. We're going to shred quite a bit. Let's try this as a starter. Okay, cool. Very good. Good. He still has armor left over, just like his friend over here. So, do we want to shred it further? Probably not, not at that point. Could have used the grenade if that was what we would be intending to do. Let's make sure Hayward is well secured, a protocol, and we're focusing on the shield bearer. Armor still holding. Very nice damage by the way, four points left, we're going to use our finishing move here, ignores armor, uh, four points of damage, there we go, nice little blood trail, and we're starting to collect those souls, good shit. Alright, next up, this here actually would deal quite a substantial amount of damage. I think we're going to go for it. And it would not trigger a chrysalid. So that's a winner in my book already. Lightning hands to slowly but surely soften him up. It's one hit. We do have quick draw, which means we can hit twice more. That's the second strike. And let's continue with strike three. Usually they say strike three and you're out. Not the case in this example. We're, we want to make sure that we're hitting... Hitting this from the right side. I really don't want to trigger the chrysalis. There we go. Nice hit. Instead of using momentum, we're going to use parry. Now, it comes at no surprise that, of course, there's going to be someone in this case uh mr warlock who's going to be annoying can summon uh, savage allies regeneration oh yeah and he has already stolen a skirmisher i remember 
will eventually say thank you this time. He still has the mind control, but we're going to get him. So assume that we're going to see a lot of zombies, spectral zombies that is. The elders must have caught wind of our operation. They sent in one of the chosen. Mind control it is. And of course we're not resisting mind control. They have quite a, uh, quite a high level um, of psionic power. Two codices to make the situation just a tiny bit more unpleasant. And they are covered by two hidden chrysalids. So if you think at this point, damn, it's a good idea to charge in. Believe me, it is not. Alright, time for a bit of a revenge kill here. Nice little hit. I don't want to go anywhere close. It might seem very chicken-ish to move up here. And take a shotgun shot from this uh, angle. But boy, do I not want to deal uh, with the fallout if there is a chrysalid just going to run into our forces. All right, we are 80% is good enough. We are reloading. Can let one of them live, but definitely not both. Well, so much for it's good enough. Lesson of XCOM, it is never, literally never good enough. Alright, nice little cloning. Don't want to take just too much damage to be honest. So we're going to use a teamwork ability here. And let's kill that codex. Wow, that was bad. That was really bad. Hmm. Okay, oh boy. Maybe I will need to use uh, the Mimic Beacon. We were just very, very, very unlucky here. Hoping I could get the other one. Yeah, lightning hands. We couldn't move and lightning hands. We couldn't shift an ability, then shoot and hit this guy. There was just too much going on at the same time. Okay. Fair enough. Don't want to. I don't want to get damaged right now. So we're using the first mimic beacon. Come from the 
isn't really aware that that would happen, but it's. I'm not going to say that that is a uh, side effect that I would not appreciate. We are compromised. That, however, is a side effect that I really, 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 really do not appreciate. Uh, we just lost our concealment for the first time. We got one more chance. Okay, cool. Well. A couple of speckled zombies to add uh, insult to injury, of course, it's truly a couple of them. Well, we can deal with them. We can deal with them. Right, well, <laughs> let's think that through really, really carefully. Good. First things first, we need damage and we need it more or less now. Moving out of the immediate range, keep in mind there is another chrysalid down here, so we're not going to forget about that. Let's immediately deal the most amount of damage that we can to those targets. Also remove uh, line of sight vision blocking barriers. Clone is not necessarily a problem uh, now, not right now. Only got one shot, that is important. So we're keeping our position. We are reloading. We're going to take out that codex. Cool. Our power cannot be compared to these lower forms of life. Good, Hayward. Can definitely finish the spectral zombies, that's for sure, but the chrysalids are a bigger threat. It's not even close. Got a second mimic beacon if we need to, but I don't think that that will be necessary right now. So, let's move up, needing to deal the maximum amount of damage. Chrysalid. Nice, that was a good hit. That would be a kill. Okay, the chrysalid could also be uh, theoretically a kill. That's a very likely kill.
Okay, we're dealing five points of damage. Let's just make sure that we're killing that chrysalid. So that would most likely kill the Spectre Zombie. There we go, one down, perfect. Um, this is hopefully going to kill... Uh, just barely not. Okay, fair enough. So continuing with teamwork. Am I really willing to put the other Mimic Beacon on the line? There are just a lot of enemies here, that's for sure. Um, that's only a 50-50 chance to kill him. Alright. Let's put up the 8 protocol. Couldn't uh, go back into the shadows for now. Next up, that zombie needs to die. Target eliminated. Weapons burning ammo fast. That's a pretty damn good shot. I am. If the chrysalid just moves up and goes into our parry, cool, no problem. But that is unlikely to happen. So I'm almost considering to put another mimic beacon out. Because there's still another chrysalid left over. And now that this is not a successful kill either. It's sort of the same uh, deal as beforehand. We gotta uh, make sure that we're not taking chrysalid uh, poison damage. Very unfortunate that the chrysalids added on top of it. And then of, on top of that, we also got the spectral zombies. So just too much damage for us to deal with in one turn. And if you don't want, if you don't want to be overrun and take damage, it's oftentimes a smarter decision just to let it go. Problem is we're now also dealing with two codices, uh, which then in return means that this codex will get a free shot. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, cool. I do have an idea. Shadowfall, however, is ending the turn, so can't afford to do that. You can kill the chrysalid, though. Let's get back into the shadows. I go where you tell me. And this here is gonna end the codex. Got dealt with the Overwatch. Got a promotion. Cool. No so far, so good.
moving into cover with Hayward, reloading. Zirkim already took a shot. Could move down here. Problem is where we would be standing in the open. Arrows moving over here. We're not going to waste a second grenade. Need to be a bit cautious with the resource that we're using. We are going to go down here. That's a nice little hit. We're going to um, put ourselves in a parrying stance. And let's reload. Not the most action-driven turn. We're going to probably take a shot, but at least the parry here will deal with chrysalids. Yeah. Lucky us. Lucky us. One more turn until we're going to see more zombies. Which, make no mistake, are going to come in and they are going to shred us into pieces. So, time for a little bit more aggressive gameplay. barely out of range. That is very, very unfortunate. Oak says I am to obey. Give me time to reload. Uh, I don't have lightning hands up yet. Firing the pistol would end our turn. We don't have quick draw with him. Target preview only shows one target. Nice, the chrysalid is in there. Enemy destroyed. Your continued defiance of the elders will only strengthen my resolve. Good, and who would have guessed we are full focus? So that were quite a few kills, to be honest. We killed three Advent, two Chrysalids, that's five, two Codices, that's seven. And we do have 16 on the mission. So there's plenty more to go around. But we've already used up both of our Mimic Beacons. We're so far completely uh, untouched, so flawless mission. It's gonna be rough though because uh, we will have no mimic beacons for the gatekeeper. And there's the spectral rupture we all love so much. Can't think of any better designed uh, gameplay feature. 
Then zombies that run into you and if you kill them it's bad, if you don't kill them it's bad as well. And uh, by the way, for those who are not aware of Spectral Rupture, zombies can actually move their entire movement and I am not kidding you about that. I had plenty of time to learn that in the Ballistics only campaign. So they can actually take their entire movement and then still explode. Mind you, the explosion, of course, you would have guessed, is AoE. Damages quite a bit. We have a sloppy formation here. I gotta change that. Get into cover, get into cover, reload if needed. Then slowly but surely we're going to move on. Well, it's seven down and nine to go. One of which is the Warlock, one of which is the Gatekeeper. So I'm counting seven more chrysalids probably. And that's why you gotta love those missions so much. This is with a level of equipment. I've done it in the first attempt. This here is pretty much one of uh, the hardest missions that I have played through. Tried without equipment and being rushed. Low level soldiers, no equipment. Because the enemies here are static, right? So they don't care. There's a gatekeeper and there are a lot of chrysalids around. And there is a pretty solid reason why chrysalids are endgame units uh, with um, 30 dodge uh, stat. So every third um, shot just dodges uh, one armor and I think eight or nine hit points. Uh, they might not look big in terms of beefy, but um, you can't allow them to hit you once. Their burrowing slash tremor sensibility is absolutely disgusting as a hard counter for our Reaper, mind you, the same Reaper who had already been detected at once. Codices, technically also a late game or an end game unit, so you're normally not seeing them on your average mission in beginning of June. Yeah, that's why this mission here in itself is actually a little bit tougher I would say more difficult then for instance uh, the mission with a suit which you can recover I wouldn't say easily but with more ease than what you're seeing here there is no remote startable object here nothing And the zombies certainly don't make it any easier. Okay, good, fine, fair. Let's move over. Let's move away everyone. Good. I got a problem here, Houston. Good. Lightning hands. And we gotta get away from here, so... How about... We're just gonna slice and dice our way 
to here. Not sure if this is just barely in range. I think it is not. Yeah, barely out of range. Okay, cool. All right, lightning hands. Wow, that's bad. It dodged with one hit point, okay. Let's clean up this mess. Another pistol shot. And another secured pistol shot this time. There we go. Good. Okay, cool. Overwatch, and we're just going to Overwatch. This is going to be a teleport psionic bomb. By the way, a perfect timing um, of all of uh, the core disease to, uh, to appear. The first pack ambushed us when we were just fighting against a normal pack, and then uh, the uh, chrysalids on top of it plus them plus the uh, spectral zombies uh, which in itself was already hilarious if you think about it cool they are stunned which is good oh that's very good stunned means to my knowledge that they are not able to Use the replication. Perfect. We got revealed, but that is fine. A low price to pay for managing to deal with that flawlessly. Taking advantage of our mobility. Great. Hayward moves up. So, out of the seven five are left and i'm pretty sure that those five are chrysalids matter of fact i already know that there are two three almost four buried uh, burrowed down there so it's our job to to get into position cool um How about, how about, how about, how about, how about? We'll position ourselves over there. Good, finally hogbite. Who's going there? Time for some more respect for zombies. Hi. But this time we do have plenty of overwatch shots ready. Of course, if they are all missing, well, it's not going to do us any good. Nice. <sighs> you just gotta be careful. Are you ready to be redeemed? Okay. 
I'm serious. The warlock can be one of the most annoying enemies. You had a solid position. Only for a second. Right, Hayward moves up as well. Hostile neutralized. Great. Let's do this. It also has taken away our cover. Very well done. So now we do have two turns where he's not summoning them. Perfect. Battle scanners. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a good solid look here. Oh, who would have thought, right? Who would have thought? Moving up. Rolling. We don't need solid cover. Something's in the ground here. Oh well, we're going to take the first piece of damage. Luckily for us. She's having the med kit, so she's not going to die. Hayward sealing herself. And let's reload. As you order, Commander. Good, four more to go. Just gotta love the chrysalids. You just gotta love them. Should be good. Okay, we're good. Second chrysalid is over there. Let's hit this one here. Nice little hit. Good job. up to the ledge Weapons empty can't engage This world is ours All right moving in Very purpose. 
We're definitely going to parry. We are starting to hit the chrysalid. Eward is gonna heal yet again. I'm on it. We're overwatching. And for now, let's just move a tiny bit closer. So. We got two more after this. We got two more after this. Alright, so I think he can handle the chrysalid by himself. First, let's amplify. Then we're lightning handing. And then... He's going to kill him. Easy enough. Gets the focus back. And let's parry. Cool. Good. Moving away. Moving away. Moving away. And now, Spectral Zombie. There is some nice damage. Good job. All right, one down. Two almost down. And that is two down for real. Reloading. Reloading. I am on watch. Good. We're almost a solid hour in, which is why I am deciding to uh, give it a break here and do the rest of uh, the mission in the second portion. There are still a lot of uh, fights. Uh, next episode we're going to challenge the Warlock and the Gatekeeper, potentially even at the same time. Uh, there are two Chrysalids still left over, which is going to be a huge struggle for us. And we uh, have gone through several of our resources, uh, so that is indeed going to be pretty damn hard. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the content, Leave a like down below uh, or consider giving it a thumbs up and see you on the next mission. Take care. Bye bye.